now while creating the head forehead portions we will select the upper edges of the eye socket as soon and extrude them and jump into our the positioning of the edges while extruding and creating the forehead portion the edges flow will be going like this and these are the flow of the edges for creating the now select the vertexes in maya adjust them accordingly as been shown i would like to say that never cramp the techniques what i am doing just understand the flow and i to create techniques of your own in any software don't learn tools just understand and develop your own r and d process and right now i am performing extrude to create another flow and now the forehead portion is being completed i will adjust the vertices and snap the outer vertices that are being alone tweak them adjust the vertex while creating head we should remember that the back portion of our head is much wider than the forehead portion because there lies our brain cage where our brain is being situated so while tweaking these edges these vertices we should remember and perform the same right now i have created a edge loop so that i get one more edge to give roundness to our head now i will select vertices and merge the vertices and press 3 so that to check out whether our forehead is fine or not we will tweak the edges bring them outside and press this two edges now everything is pretty fine now what i will do is i will start selecting the outer edges again the same four edges and extrude them outside to create our head and this process i will do for few more times so that the whole head and the back portion of the head is being created and the process that would differ is the adjustment of the vertices now in front viewport i will bring these vertices these two vertices outside as i already said that the brain case is much wider than the forehead if you have ever seen the skull the picture of a skull you can keenly observe that the outer part the back portion is wider than the front portion of the head
now select the edges extrude them select vertices tweak them bring them out tweak some more keep on adjusting keep on maintaining the proper flow and whenever you create an extrusion or adjust the model using the reference image try to create the model a bit larger bit wider than the reference because the reference right now I am using is after applying smooth and when we apply smooth our model get shrinks a bit and it comes in the same position as the references and these all observations and these all study you will know come to know after keeping on practicing and try to make different things those who are doing or making this model organic modeling model for the first time or modeling for the first time in Maya I would rather refer them to create inorganic models such as tables, cloths and extra ETC works or inorganic models to make their modeling skills pretty improved so that when they come into inorganic jump into organic after inorganic modeling they can perform well it's, it's a tip it's upon you to follow or not but it would help you now the edges I am right now tweaking after this extrusion after snapping and merging them and tweaking them the next level the next extrusion will be getting round and the edges that left behind the inner part of the edges will create the hole from where our ear will get modeled you will come to know in few moments what I am referring to right now right now I am tweaking some vertexes and adjusting them select the outer edges come into perspective if some edges are being left for selection extrude select and then rotate a bit by pressing E on your keyboard E is the shortcut for rotate tool adjust the vertex move them upwards tweak them upwards select the vertex and now you can see that I am tweaking the vertexes and covering the ear a part only because when I will model the ear the ear has some depth and it comes some outside part is there that is going to be covering this hole now merge the snapped vertexes now again go to edge menu select the edges and perform extrude bring them outside rotate them and now I am creating slowly slowly the hole for the ear from where my ear is going to come out not by magic but by modeling just joking
select the outer edges again now again perform the extrude rotate the edges and then adjust them and snap the vertex as soon select the vertex adjust them push them inwards but they don't come outside the face and make the face look ugly keep on adjusting vertexes maintaining the curveness also and understanding the depth the roundness the softness of a female face adjust the vertex tweak them keep on adjusting bring them out maintain the flow select the edges perform extrude bring them downwards and bring them forward select the vertex adjust them to the end of the jaw line now merge vertex and select these edges push them inwards hmm. now you can see a part of our head is being completed keep on adjusting here we would require an insert edge loop tool an insert edge so that we can refine and define more now we have not done merging so this mistake appeared and you can see there is a problem so merge and now perform the insert as loop tool option and you will You will get an edge over there and now adjust them as per the reference. Adjust, keep on doing and perform the task. Now, in the next video, I will show you how to create the chick bone muscles and complete our upper portion of the face